Hey guys, this is uh, part two of data exploit video series. Uh, earlier in part one, we downloaded or, uh, to be precise, Git clone the data exploit project to our system, and then we installed all the Python dependencies without without any fudge. So now the third thing to do is rename and config the sample pi. Uh, config underscore sample dot pi to config dot pi. So to do that, uh, let me run this command. Okay, I have already done this, so nothing to worry. Now, uh, after doing this, you just want to have a look on the config dot pi. Why? What all is there? So this is the config file which contains all the api names and we have to provide the api tokens after generating we have to generate all the apis manually and put it here manually so uh, the other thing i want to mention is all these apis are not mandatory so we will be only focusing on the mandatory apis uh, for that we have to go back to the documentation part so here as you can see how to generate api keys click here uh, these are the set of mandatory uh, apis i won't say these are mandatory but uh, at least you should have all these to get a better result uh, most of the apis like uh, sodan census uh, clearbit email hunter full contacts these are pretty straightforward so you can directly do this uh, for zoom i uh, this is a bit tricky because the portal or the page where you need to generate api is in non english so for that we have mentioned uh, how to do it quite easily you have to just follow these steps uh, the other thing I want to uh, tell you is if you are using any kind of translate plugin or uh, Chrome translate it won't happen because these these field names uh, cannot be translated uh, using those so you have to follow these instructions carefully to generate the API. So once you generate all the APIs uh, you have to install them inside the config.py here uh, after doing that we have to set mongodb and some other stuffs and then our tool will be ready to roll so i will be uh, directly skipping to the next step how to set up other things so let's go back to the setting up environment so we already done these three and I assume you can do the fourth one quite easily then let's jump to the fifth install mongodb so same we have to copy paste these thing okay go back paste it here Whoop. done Sorry, uh, then go back copy the other command copy paste so as, as it says uh, it is not installed you want to install it and here is the command so Okay, again try the last command. Cool. It done. And then we have to install RabbitMQ.
okay we have to side core okay this is uh, where the manage dot pipe there so run it from here so it is saying uh, run this migrate command let's run no problem and then run it again so we got it let's open this link Plus ocean. So we are almost set, and this is the GUI of data exploit. And uh, how to run data exploit in CLI and GUI? We will be checking in the next video. Thank you for watching this. Bye bye.